So I was there in 2015. I remember how devastating those floods were for all communities along the Calder Valley. After those floods, a huge Calderdale flood review took place. And one of the key recommendations from that was to look across the catchment to how we store flood water, slow the flow upstream. And this is where the ICAS work is so important. Flooding in Calderdale is a really complex picture. There's lots and lots of different sources of those floodwaters. But what we do know is that if we work high up in the catchments where that water falls on the hillsides and work to slow the flow of water, store water on the hillsides where it's causing very little damage, we can help our downstream communities. So what we've seen so far is that there's no single solution to reducing flooding within the valley. So we need to do a combination of a number of different interventions to have a cumulative effect on the downstream flood risk. We can't just look at engineered solutions, we need to look at natural flood management and ICASP is doing some really exciting work to help us target where and how we invest in those solutions across the catchment to make the biggest difference to flooding in the Calder Valley we possibly can. We realised we actually needed some help to really sort of understand that question and that's when we have approached ICAS to work with NFM partners in Calderdale on this. We also then wanted to look at which NFM features could really be prioritised and whether that was different in different subcatchments. So at the heart of this approach is some really clever modelling undertaken by research at the University of Leeds um, that is fundamental to identifying where can we store the most flood water, in which parts of the catchment, and how do all of those measures collectively help us reduce flood risk to towns like Hebden Bridge, Mythenroyd and further downstream long into the future. So the model that we've developed called Spatially Distributed Top Model or SD Top Model is really useful for us because it's able to model the flow of water from rainfall down through the hill slope and into the river in a much finer scale than has previously been possible. So using the model we can start to look at how different land management or NFM scenarios can alter the soil characteristics all of which determine how quickly water flows through the hill slope and into the river. And the very specific question that we were also interested in was actually looking at how some of the boundary features across the, the catchment, how they might impact on flooding. So there I'm talking about things like stone walls, like hedgerows, like gates. And again, that's been one of the most interesting findings from the ICAST modelling work. We can begin to look at the locations and the type of NFM interventions, which will be most effective in slowing the flow of water into the river and hence the flood risk within the Calderdale area. So this modelling will provide evidence needed to support bids for further NFM interventions within the area. For landowners like the National Trust this has been a really beneficial project. It's really helped us understand exactly where our NFM interventions are going to be the most useful and what type of interventions are the best for us to use. So in terms of designing future projects, informing how we do things differently on other sites and informing how we continue to manage this site, it's been really, really helpful. We've been working hard Castle Crags for the last couple of years with hundreds of um, volunteers here following natural flood management. So they are doing Doing things that are going to directly benefit not only themselves but their friends and neighbours further down the valley. We're also producing a series of fact sheets and Calderdale specific NFM opportunity maps and these will be designed in a really user-friendly way to help land managers and flood risk advisors both locally as well as nationally to make good decisions about NFM interventions and where they work best. So these will provide evidence to help them assess the current and future opportunities for NFM within the area. We really appreciate the technical input on this project, just so we can see what we've done is effective. The monitoring is, is a really important factor here, so we can see what the volunteers have actually achieved. The ICAST project has helped us understand the effects of land management practices, and it's helped us understand which landowners to work with, how to work with them and how to reduce flooding by specifically targeting particular landowners and particular interventions. It's also helped us provide brilliant evidence for future funding. This work has been delivered by 20 partner organisations involving local people, it's done in partnership, but at its heart is really strong science which helps us target those measures to make the biggest difference we collectively can.